Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we do my Euro 2024 tier list, guys. We'll be ranking all 24 nations of this year's Euros. We're going to start from, we're going to do an alphabetical order. So let me go ahead and explain the tiers. We got S, A, B, C, D, F. So we got S is like the best. A is like great. B is like good. C is like average. D is like terrible. And F is like garbage. Basically the worst. So let's, we're going to have all 24 nations. We're going to go ahead and get started. So let's start with the first nation we got here. It is Austria. Austria for me. See, the thing with Austria, guys. Actually, sorry, Albania. Albania is first. If we're going by alphabetical order. Albania. Um, see, the thing with Albania is that they had a difficult group, guys. We have to keep this in context. They were in a group of death. They had Spain, Italy, Croatia. It was probably one of the hardest groups they could have got in the Euros. And the fact that they finished third... I'm sorry, finished bottom with one point is commendable. And the fact that they gave great games to, like, Spain and Italy and only lost by one gold margin is credible. And they tied against Croatia as well. So I think for Albania, I'm going to give them a D. I know a D is probably a bit... Maybe I should be giving that F since they finished bottom, but I'm going to go with Albania D. I just think they were great. And, yeah, I just think they were hard done by by the draw. And I think if they're in a kinder group, they would have. I would have probably given them... Uh, they probably could have advanced... Austria did amazing. They topped the group uh, with the consisting of France, Netherlands, and Poland. And they played well. They played really well this Euros. You know, the pressing they did, the organization they did. It's just a shame they couldn't go farther than knockout stage after doing so well in the group stage. And it just shows you guys that in tournament football, group stage isn't the end-all and be-all, right? So I think for, um, um, for Austria, as I said, man, very disappointing. In the knockout stage, they weren't able to beat Turkey, a team which you probably expect them to beat. So, I'm gonna put out. I'm gonna put Austria. I'm gonna say probably like a B. I think a B is fair. Uh, I think a B is uh, fair there. I'm, I can't put anything higher than a B because they didn't make the quarterfinals and they still haven't made the quarterfinals. They I don't think they've won a knockout game since 1950. Guys, crazy stat. Belgium. Belgium is a C. I'm sorry, Belgium were very mediocre this Euros. I wasn't convinced with Belgium this Euros. They were very underwhelming. It feels like they did the bare minimum. You know, back in the nil-nil draw against Ukraine, they weren't that great offensively, only scored, uh, I believe it's two goals in this Euros, which is really underwhelming. Defensively, they were actually pretty good, but just offensively, they weren't great. And I don't know, I wasn't impressed with Belgium. They should have been in Slovakia. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. I was just not impressed with Belgium. Belgium were just very mid this Euros, guys. I'm going to put them in C. I'm going to put them in C. Croatia, man. I'm sorry. Croatia was terrible this Euros. Croatia was terrible. Croatia did not do well this Euros whatsoever. I think Croatia... Did we put them F? See, F is harsh. I, I, I think F is a bit of a harsh, but I think they're a D. I think they're a D because... Croatia at least managed to get a draw against Albania, and they did get a draw against Italy. And they they did put up a decent performance against Spain, but they just were unlucky. So I'll put Croatia D, but honestly, I'm going to give them just about a D. They're like a D minus, a D minus. Czech Republic, I think Czech Republic were very unlucky in this Euros, despite the fact they finished bottom the group with one point. They put out a great game against Portugal, defensively solid. They were very unlucky to lose that game. They put up a great game against uh, Georgia. It's just they couldn't finish. And then the game against Turkey, they actually played really well down a man. So I'm actually going to go ahead and say Czech Republic. I'm going to say a D plus, a D plus. I can't put anything. I can't put a C because they still got one point, And I think one point is still bad. But I think they're like a C, D, uh, D plus. I think they're just on the t borderline of a C, borderline of C. But I can't get them a C because they did not progress out of the group. So. Yeah, I'm going to put Czech Republic a, uh, a D. Next up is Denmark. Denmark average. I think they were average this Euros. They did not lose. A, they only lost one game this Euros, but they didn't win a game. Three draws, one L. Not great. They were decent defensively, but their offense was not great. And yeah, Denmark, I'm going to put that C. Now we get to England. The losing finalist, guys. Losing finalist. Mm, losing finalist, guys. Where do you put England? I'm about to put England B. I think B is fair. I, I People are going to say I should put them A, but I can't even put them A because, sure, they reached the final. But let's keep it real, guys. England and the Zeros were very much mediocre. They were just doing the bare minimum every single game to get by. And every game, they required individual brilliance to save them through. England did not look great this Zeros. They now play as a collective unit. 
And for England, as I said, man, maybe we'll do a separate video uh, when I get back from vacation. What is the issue with England? Maybe we'll have a debate show at that because I need to have Matts to come on there to help me break this down. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we have to have a convo about England, but that's going to be a topic for another time. But um, England for me, man, as I said, I'm putting the B. I'm putting the B because they just, they weren't great this Euros. They made it to the final because of the fact they were on the easy side of the bracket. And if they were on the other side, would they have made the final? I don't think so. I don't think so. Spain, I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious. Spain is ass. Do I even need to explain? Spain is definitely an ass. Oh, sorry. I, mean, I meant to put that. They won the Euros. They were the best team. They won seven out of seven. Yamal, Nico Williams cooked. And Spain, man, were just amazing, man. Spain played really well this Euros. They played so amazing offensively, midfield. Great. I mean, I could go on and on for Spain. They're, they're definitely an ass. And football won of the day. They were the right team to win the Euros. France. It's kind of similar to what I said with England. But at least with England, at least they made it to the final. France, though, were so underwhelmed this Euros. What made France alive in this Euros was how good they were defensively. Defensively is why England, uh, France were so good this Euros. So I'm going to say France. I'm actually, I actually think England had a better tournament than France. I'm not just saying that because England made the final, but France just didn't look great offensively. They weren't able to score an open play goal until against Spain, and they didn't concede an open play goal until against Spain. But I don't know. I just think France were very a lot. Of France just did were very mid, honestly. And yeah, I, I wasn't impressed with it. yeah France whatsoever. Uh, next up it is Georgia. Georgia for me, man. Georgia did well this year, guys. Getting to the round of sixteen for the first time ever and their debut campaign. Defeating Portugal, I know it was their B team, but still, it's a credible achievement. They also tied against Czech Republic, and they put up a good game against Spain. So I'm going to say Georgia for me, man. I'm going to actually, you know what? This might keep some crazy to say, guys, but I'm going to put Georgia in B. I think Georgia did really well this Euros, guys. I think they did amazingly well. I think they were fantastic. And I think we got to get them uh, a B. I think a B is fair. Uh, the B is fair. Germany. Germany, guys. See, Germany had a great Euros. I think Germany were great this Euros. They just lost to Spain. And I think, I actually believe, this is my opinion, they actually gave Spain the toughest game. I think that was Spain's toughest game of this Euros. And Germany gave it. And I think had Germany were on the other side of the bracket like England, they probably would make the final. And I just think that Germany would probably have made the semis if they played any other opponent. I just think Spain was just too good. And so it's a shame for Germany because Germany did really well this Euros. I actually thought Germany were great. So I'm actually going to put Germany A. I actually think Germany did really well this Euros. Uh, they were just unlucky to play against Spain. Uh, next up it is Hungary. Hungary for me, man. I'm sorry. Hungary were simply mediocre this Euros. They were very disappointing. Sure, they got the win against Scotland, but it was a last-minute win. Defensively, they were very poor. Um, offensively, they weren't great. I'm honestly debating should I put Hungary in F. I'm debating whether I should put them in F. You know what? I'm not going to put them F. I'm not. I'm going to put them at a D, but it's, it's like a D minus. But then again, Hungary did win a game. None of those three nations have won a game. Mm, you know what? I'm going to get, I'll, I'll give that, that. That gives you some bonus points. I give some bonus points. You know what? Maybe I'll put uh, Croatian F. Maybe I'll put Croatian F. I, um, I won't put Croatian F, actually. Italy. Italy, guys. Italy, guys, Italy were ter in mid this Euros, guys. Italy were not great this Euros. They made the round of 16. They didn't really have any great games, honestly. Like, even that game against Albania, that was the only win they got. They weren't particularly great in that game. They just about managed to squeeze through. Against Spain, they were dreadful. And then against Croatia, they just got rescued by a last-minute goal. And then against Switzerland, they put an all-time disaster class. Guys, I'm going to put Italy. I'm going to say Italy is still a C because they at least made the round of 16, but... I can't put anything higher than a C, man, because they just did the bare minimum. So, yeah. Netherlands. Netherlands for me, guys. Um, It's weird for Netherlands because I actually thought, even though they made the semifinals, I wasn't too impressed with Netherlands this Euros. I really wasn't because defensively looked shaky. They were conceding a lot of set pieces. And even though Gakpo was great for them this tournament, Depay didn't look great. Weghorst didn't look great. And let's be real, guys. Netherlands' knockout path wasn't particularly that challenging. Romania and Turkey, I mean, with all due respect, that th those were not too difficult of opponents. So I think for Netherlands, as I said, man, I'm going to have to give them a C. I, I'm going to have to give them a C. And I just think Netherlands were not great this year. So I'm going to say Netherlands is a C. And I'm actually going to say they were, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, they were better than Denmark and Italy. 
Uh, but oh, geez, I'm making mistakes here. That should be. I we're putting Czech Republic here. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put Bel France, the Belgium, the Netherlands. Okay, next up it is Poland. Now, even though Poland did get one point, and even though they did finish ball in the group, I still think Poland didn't look that bad, as their points may have suggested. It's just that I think offensively they looked really struggling. Because I thought defensively, for the most part, this Euros, they were decent. But it's just that offensively they weren't great. So it's a shame because I don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to have to pull a Poland at one point. I'm going to have to put them F uh, just because I kind of still expected more offensively from Poland. Uh, but yeah, I think Poland F. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh there, but uh, yeah, I have to put someone F at the end of the day. Uh, Portugal. I'll be honest with you guys, Portugal. They made the quarterfinals, but they weren't that great in the Euros. Like, besides the Turkey game, what other game were they great in? That Czech Republic game wasn't great. They scraped through. Georgia game, they lost. Uh, then against um, Slovenia, they drew the game. They couldn't even win that game. Uh, then against France, they tied the game. So I'm going to say Portugal is probably a C. Um, I'll give you, I'll put them above Denmark and Italy because at least they won a game. Uh, well, actually, Italy did win a game, so I'll put Italy above Denmark, actually. But, yeah, I think for Portugal, they weren't particularly great at the Euros. Uh, Romania, I thought Romania was fantastic. I thought Romania was really good this Euros, making it to the round of 16 for the first time ever. You know, top of the group as well. You know, defeating um, Ukraine was a huge win. It was incredible. They tied Slovakia as well. And, but even though they got blown away against the Netherlands, I think they did decent. So I'm going to say Romania. I'm going to say a B. Uh, just about a B. I'm going to say Romania is just like a bare minimum B. Scotland, I'm sorry, Scotland were terrible. Scotland were terrible this year, guys. Scotland were really dreadful. That opening day loss against Germany was garbage. That was a horrendous defeat. And then they put up a good, they put up a decent game against um, Switzerland, to be fair. Um, they tied 1 1. But honestly, besides that, they weren't great. And then that the game against Hungary was so garbage. The fact that they couldn't even get a shot on target in a must win game. I'm sorry, Scotland is the F. I'm going to say this right now, guys. I think Scotland was 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 one of the worst teams in this Euros. So, uh, Scotland for me, Matt. I'm sorry, I'm putting them F. I'm sorry, I'm putting them F. I know it's harsh, but I got to be real. Serbia. It's weird with Serbia because I actually thought defensively they looked good in the Euros. It's just offensively they weren't great. So, I'm going to say Serbia for me. I'm going to say a D. Um, they were all quite unlucky, to be fair. But at the end of the day, I'm going to put Serbia D. And I'm going to put them in this D category. So it's it's harsh, but it is what it is. Uh, Switzerland. I think Switzerland, for me, making the quarterfinals was amazing. You know, making it back-to-back -back quarterfinals was fantastic. You know, they were great. Um, so where do I put them in? I'm going to give them A, honestly. I thought Switzerland did really well this Euros. I think they were fantastic. And they only just lost to... They didn't even lose a game, guys. They tied all... They, they didn't even lose a game. So you have to give Switzerland a credit here, guys. They, they only lost to England on penalties. So, yeah. Next up, I believe that is Slovakia. Slovakia, for me, this Euros, I thought they put up a good, they were good in the group stage by defeating Belgium was a huge statement. Then they lost to Ukraine, and then they defeated, they tied against Romania, and then they put up a good game against England. So I'm going to say Slovakia B. My only concern with Slovakia is that I feel like they went too defensive after taking the lead, which was something that I think Slovakia made a mistake in this Euros. And I think Slovakia needed to go a bit more offensive after getting the first goal. So I'm going to say Slovakia B, but yeah, um, it's just a probably about a B uh, for that. You know, I'm going to put them actually above uh, Georgia and Romania, actually. Um, next up, it is Slovenia. Slovenia did really well, guys. Slovenia didn't even lose a single game at the Euros, which is quite insane. Undefeated as well. Um, I'm going to say Slovenia B as well. I'm B as well. And you know what? Because they went undefeated, I I'm thinking about just putting them in uh, B, right behind England. Right behind England, honestly. Turkey. I thought Turkey had a good Euros. Making it to the quarterfinals. They defeated Austria, one of the tournament pre-dark horses. They came second in the group. They gave a good game against Czech Republic and against Georgia. Um, and then they lost really close, a really close game to Netherlands. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put Turkey at an A, actually. Because they made the quarterfinals, which I didn't expect. And I think that's an incredible achievement. And for Ukraine, uh, Ukraine is really tough. They managed to not advance, but they were very close. They were one of the few nations that were so close to advancing. I feel so bad for Ukraine. I'm going to have to put Ukraine. It's either a C or D. I'm probably going to lean towards more D since they didn't advance. But, man, 
I feel so bad for Ukraine. I thought Ukraine did well this Euros, but it's just unfortunate. So I'm going to put them in D. Just about misses out on C. So there you guys have it, man. That's my Euros tier list for you guys. I want to know what changes you would make in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.